My name is Guy Vine and I'm going to give you a brief explanation of the regular structure of the prime number sequence. The prime numbers uh, people have generally reckoned to be in a hopeless muddle following no discernible pattern. But I aim to persuade you otherwise that it's as regular as clockwork, as regular as the recurring decimals. Where should we begin? Let's begin at the, with the number 19. Is it a prime or not? A prime has no divisors other than one and itself. Which prime should we use to check? Well, we take the primes less than or, or equal to the square root of the number we're checking. So the square root of 19 is about 4. The primes less than or equal to 4 are 2 and 3, which we shall call the base primes for 19. So b equals 2 and 3 is a crucial concept. 2 does not divide into 19. 3 does not divide into 19. Therefore, 19 is prime. Now, what range of numbers have the same base primes, 2 and 3? 19 is one of the numbers, but what are the other numbers? Well, a little thought will show you that the uh, range for base primes of 2 and 3 goes from 3 squared up to, but not including, 5 squared. That is the range from 3 squared up two but not including five squared. Now let's ask what is the sequence of numbers which are prime to the base primes, that is to say which are not divisible by two or three. Well the sequence is easy to find out and it amounts to 1, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 25, 29, 31, 35, and so on. It's an infinite sequence, and its differences, its different sequence, is like a recurring decimal. The differences between each of those numbers is 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, forever and ever, just like a recurring decimal. For example, you take the beginning of it, 1 to 5 is 4, 5 to 7 is 2, 7 to 11 is 4, 11 to 13 is 2, and so it is throughout that whole sequence. Now, in order to um, get a section of the prime number sequence itself, we take part of that sequence prime to 2 and 3, which lies in the range for 2 and 3. So we take out the section lying between 9 and 25, and we obtain five primes, namely 11, 13, 17, 19, and 23. And those five primes are part of the prime number sequence itself. The differences between them, between them are 2, 4, 2, 4, which is obviously part of that uh, infinite sequence with differences 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2. The prime number sequence is composed of sections separated by the squares of the primes and each section is taken from a perfectly regular sequence whose differences are uh, like a recurring decimal. 
If we want to generate the prime number sequence itself, we start by going from the beginning of the base primes, b equals 1. The integers divisible by 1 are just the integers themselves, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. And the section lying between 1 squared and 2 squared is 1, 2, and 3. That's the first section of the prime number sequence. The next section, uh, the base prime is just 2. We can now drop 1 as being trivial. The sequence prime to 2, not divisible by 2, are the odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7. The third section is the one we've dealt with, which contains 19, and so on ad infinitum. It's worth repeating that the prime number sequence is composed of sections separated by the squares of the primes and each section is taken from a perfectly regular sequence. I hope I've carried you with me, and uh, thank you for listening. If you want to uh, learn any more about these uh, things that we've uh, been talking about, then uh, have a look at The Pattern of the Primes, um, a book-length treatment of it, and uh, more besides.